Have you ever had this feeling of guilt when you're playing video games for just a little bit too long? You know you should be doing something else, but you still feel this urge to complete just one more quest, get one more level done, but the more time you sink in, the worse you feel about yourself. To me that started happening in my 20s, and it kind of makes sense now, because at the time my ambitions grew, so my free time became more valuable, but playing games didn't bring me any closer to my goals. But I still loved, I loved getting immersed into game worlds, you know, getting pulled by the excitement of doing that one more turn, getting one more skill level, and so I like these psychological tricks that games played on me, but I hate when the result was just time passing by. So why can't games help us reach our goals? Why can't I learn something while playing them? I remember the times when strategy games would include rich encyclopedias and they would explain history and science behind the gameplay. It was all right there in the game often. Uh, I would play Caesar 2 and learn about the Romans, how their buildings and their cities work. In Sim Ant I could travel underground with uh, following an ant and you could look into the game help and learn how in real life ants build ant nests and model yours after that. I am a huge player of SimCity series, from 2000 to SimCity 4 you learn how the economy binds cities together. This was in the 90s and I really hope to see more learning happen with games in the future. But instead, as time passed on, encyclopedias got shorter or completely disappeared, games would focus less on science, and when mobile games came along, passing the time really became its own genre and the psychological tricks became just the means to its own end. I mean, that's alright, you know, to each its own, but I personally, I want to create things in my life, I want to learn as much as possible, and I want to play video games that bring me further on this journey. Games are a wonderful medium for learning. They offer something that lectures and books and videos can't, which is interactivity, exploration, learning by doing. Now, when we play games, we already hone our reflexes and critical thinking, but it's only our characters that are gaining actual skills in the games. Our own list of things that we can do remains the same. So for example, when I play The Sims, I can learn how to make better choices in my life, it inspires me to try new things, but it is only my sim that knows how to paint better after I spend 5 hours in the game. And so why can't we be the ones learning skills by playing video games? Why is it only our characters? And I think it could be us. Now it's important to know that all the learning materials you know, that will get you from drawing stick figures to a master painter are already out there. Now that we have the internet, the cost of knowledge of masters is pretty much zero dollars. But the thing is, it's not just the knowledge that we're missing, we are missing the change in our behavior. And so when you play The Sims, it's very easy to change your character's behavior. If you want to get better at drawing, you can simply click and you can make The Sim practice for days on end. Now reading tutorials and practicing in real life will get you all the knowledge and skills that you need, but doing so for days on end is far from as simple as clicking. To succeed you need to change your environment, you need to get so engulfed in the world of art that learning and doing becomes a natural consequence. You know, it's why people go to art school. But what if you can't go to art school? What if you don't have the time or the money to pursue this full time? What if you just wanted to do this on the side? How could you get the experience, that adventure of being an art student, from your own home? Like what medium could we use that would capture your imagination and immerse you into another world and let you interact with it? Well obviously video games. Video games are perfect for learning environments. If games are carefully designed for learning, it's okay if we become obsessed, if we play countless hours to do one more push, gain one more level. Because the reward at the end is not just three letters on a high score chart, but a mastery of a real life skill that you can use to make your own dreams come true. Hey guys, if you know me, you know that I don't like to just complain on the internet. If I see something that I feel needs to be changed, I just go and do it. So I'm making my own video game for learning how to draw. It's a text adventure and it will eventually be a point and click adventure. So you can try, go and play that pixelart.academy, link in the description. I also finally started my Patreon where I share the development of the game as well as other Eternator business, which is uh, mostly writing about video games and pixel art and stuff like that. So if you want more videos like this, subscribe to the channel, uh, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, and if you really like it, uh, support me on Patreon.